Hi, everyone, and welcome to this chapter of the free full stack course. In this chapter, we're going to install Postgres on Ubuntu. And this chapter is part of the free full stack courses playlist, the link of which you can find as the first link in the descriptions of this video at the bottom of the screen. But if you're here just to install Postgres on Ubuntu and Linux, generally, you're more than welcome to also stay here if you're not going to follow with the entire uh, free full stack course. But uh, if you're part of, if you're basically one of the students of the free full stack course, I really suggest that you go through all the chapters chronologically before landing on this chapter, specifically the Python crash course, which was a two hour or a longer than two hours video before this. So let's go ahead and talk about Postgres and what it is. Postgres, as uh, themselves put it, is the world's most advanced relational database, which is also open source. And it is a little bit different from MySQL, for instance, if you've used MySQL before. The commands are a little bit more specific to Postgres in that they're not portable from Postgres to MySQL and vice versa. But at the end of the day, it is a relational database management system. So the core of Postgres is actually similar to other uh, relational database management systems out there. Okay. So let's just get started in here. So I'm going to do some screen reshuffling. So let's go to terminal and then I'm going to change the screen layout in here so you see it better. The first thing we need to do in order to install Postgres is actually to um, update our uh, app repository in here. So I'm going to say sudo uh, apt update. Okay. So all my packages uh, or my repos are updated right now. And then what we need to do in order to install Postgres SQL itself is to say sudo apt install Postgres SQL. And also we need Postgres SQL contrib. So Postgres SQL contrib. Okay. And for me, this process went really fast. But for you, if you haven't installed this before, then this might actually take some time for you to do. All right. So let's now talk a little bit about um, ident in here. I'm going to clear the screen. Now, PostgreSQL uses a process called ident, in, ident authentication in um, on Unix-based operating systems, such as Mac OS and also Ubuntu, which is a Linux distribution. The way ident works is that when you try to log into Postgres uh, console, it takes your Linux username, it looks for the same user uh, inside Postgres, and then if that user also exists in Postgres, it looks for a database under the exact same name as well to connect it. So three things need to match in here. And what we're going to do in this chapter is going to go ahead and create this particular user in Postgres, which we're going to call full stack course. We're also going to create a database under the same name called full stack course. And also we're going to create a new Linux user called uh, full stack course. So these three things need to match for ident to actually work properly. Okay. There are other ways of interacting with Postgres as well, not using ident, but I find ident the absolute easiest way of interacting with Postgres. And this is exactly what we're going to do in this chapter. Okay. So what, what, what we do first is to actually use the default Postgres user to log into a Linux. Basically when you install Postgres and uh, with sudo apt, then it, in, it installs not only Postgres, but also uses a user called Postgres in order to interact with uh, Postgres SQL. So first we need to log into that user. It is a very important that you do this step first before we continue with the rest of the steps, because if you don't do this particular step, then pretty much nothing after this is going to work for you. So let's, let's just go ahead and say sudo interactive uh, with a user called Postgres, okay? like this. If you do this, then you're, you should be logged in with that user. You may also have to enter the password for that. But in my current session, I had already, already, I had already logged in with this user. So I don't have to enter the password for that user. Okay. So what we're going to do then is to go ahead and create a user in Postgres under the same name, uh, which is full stack course. So let's go ahead and say create user interactive. And then the user to add is going to be full stack course. And the user has to be a super user. Now, for me, this command is going to fail because I've already created this user before. But for you, it should just quietly succeed. So for me, it failed. You can see it already exists. So now you have 
a, a user or a role in Postgres called full stack course. And also the password for, the use, for this user, for the sake of simplicity, I'd suggest that you set the password also to full stack course. But if you're kind of pedantic about that, you want another password, go ahead and set another password, but you need to remember that password from uh, for later when we start using uh, creating our backend using Django, okay? So now that you've done that, now that you've created your Postgres user, you also have to create a database for that user because Ident works in that when you log into Postgres, it uses your current user or the user that you're trying to log in with into Postgres, and it looks for the same a database with the same name as that user. Now we need to create that database. So let's go ahead and say create DB, which is a command which comes with Postgres. And we say create DB in here, and we say full stack course. This is going to fail for me because I already have this database. You can see it already exists. But for you, this command should quietly succeed. All right. So that was create user and create DB. Now, the next important thing is actually create a Linux user, which is called also a full stack course. So let's say sudo, um, sudo and add user full stack course. Oops, full stack course. Okay. Uh, password for Postgres. Let's see if Postgres is a super user. Oops. At, it is not. So what we're going to do basically, let's just, because you see I'm logging into Postgres at the moment, we probably want to log out of Postgres before we do that. So I'm now back into my own user. Then I'm going to do um, sudo uh, user Postgres, no, sudo add user. We're going to do add user and full stack course. And for me, this command also probably going to fail because you see this user already exists on my computer. But for you, you should just go ahead and add the user. And it will also ask you, for instance, for it will say, OK, what is the user's full name? What is the user's role in this organization, the phone number, everything? It will ask you about all of that. And then after it is done, then you should have a user successfully set up on your Linux, Linux machine called full stack course. OK? So after doing that, let's go ahead and log into this user as a super user in here. So let's say sudo, as you can see at the bottom of the screen, interactive with a user of full stack course, that course. OK, so now I'm logged into that user locally. Fantastic. Then what you need to do is to test out your installation of Postgres. So if you've set up everything correctly, if you have a Linux user, number one, Call full stack course, you have a role in Postgres, uh, which you created with a create user. Uh, as the second item. And also you have a database with create DB command called full stack course. If these three things match, then ident is going to work flawlessly. So if you just type PSQL in here, then you should just log into PostgreSQL without a problem. Okay. And also here you can test out your connection to see what user you have, which role you have, which database you're connected to using the backslash C command in here. We can see you're connected to a database called full stack course as the user full stack course. So if everything, uh, if you follow all the steps, you should just see the same exact command that I'm seeing on my screen. So congratulations. Now you've installed PostgreSQL on your Linux machine. As I mentioned in the beginning of this chapter, um, this could differ a little bit uh, between various distributions of Linux. So in here, I gave you the instructions for Ubuntu. But if you have Fedora, for instance, instructions may be a little bit different. And in that case, I highly suggest that you read the official documentations on how to install uh, PostgreSQL on your operating system. But the parts about ident that I mentioned, how things work with users, roles, and databases, they're applicable to all Unix-based operating systems. So, so even if you have Fedora, for instance, it should work exactly the same way uh, using ident if you follow the instructions in this chapter. So I hope you enjoyed uh, the content in this chapter. Thank you for hanging with me, uh, and I'll see you in the next one.